You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a guest from the Greater Brockton Center for Dispute Resolution that does community mediation. And I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, your, la your last name's Freddie. That's correct. Okay, so your first name is Ronald. That's right. Okay, there we go. So, I've met you before. Yes, I sir. know you guys do incredible good work well, for the community. For that, yeah. um, people have disputes yes, all the time. Do, yeah. Very common. But you guys are there to help them so they don't have to go through litigation and costly court battles and That's correct. all of that. And it's a your nonprofit organization. We are. Okay. So that makes I think that makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. We're a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Nonprofits help people. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to cover costs and get money for some of their services, right. but right. we're not five hundred dollars an hour. Right. That's correct. Our charter okay. is that we're going to help people in the community and in the courts. Yeah. So you're the program coordinator. I am. Been there for 13 years. This is and, my 13th year, yes. And you have a background in HR, yes, which I do. Yeah. nowadays that's such an incredible field in Very terms complex. of it, Very it, it's more and more, and they, they do rules and regulations every day. Every day. So actually, this might be better. This is better. Okay, there you go. This I can is see easier. You. Got a smile on your face. <laughs> so you're located over in the district court? Yes, we're located on the second floor in the Brockton District Court on Main Street. And we're in room 207. 207, okay. Um, so tell us, I may have just touched the surface, but you can explain it better, what you do. Well, I'm the program coordinator. I run the mediation and conciliation program for the Brockton area. We service 29 communities. Uh, including Brockton, uh, so pretty much we're all of Plymouth County. And what we do is the difference between mediation and conciliation, for those people who may not know what mediation is, it's the use of a trained third-party professional, neutral person who works with disputing parties to see if we can bring them from their positions to an area where they can discuss settlement. Some cases settle, some cases don't settle. Mm -hmm. But of those that do settle, the parties are very satisfied with the process. And conciliation. Conciliation, conciliation yeah. is done by attorneys, and that's done in the Brockton Civil Division, and that's above the Small Claims Division. Those are for disputes that are over $7,000 at the present time. And uh, to be a conciliator, a person needs to be an attorney. They need to be practicing in Massachusetts for at least three years, and they need to be a member in good standing of the bar. Mm -hmm and have completed eight hours of conciliator training. Okay, so now I know, I knew, learned something new that I didn't know before. I knew about mediation, I didn't really know about conciliation, and we're not gonna even get to the arbitration because you guys don't do we that. We don't do arbitration. But the more the levels that you go, the more costly it gets. That's correct. Okay. Actually, all of our services are free. Right. Mediation services are free, conciliation services are free. Wow. I have volunteer mediators from the community that have been trained in mediation, and I have volunteers from the Plymouth Bar Association that have volunteered pro bono to do conciliation work. So what they try to do in mediation and in conciliation is reduce the amount of time spent in litigation. Mm -hmm. Whether the parties have an attorney or they don't have an attorney, the object is to reduce the amount of time that people are committing to their particular case and see if we can resolve it early. Earlier is better. Mm -hmm. If people wait till the last minute to settle, they've already incurred all types of costs, including discovery, including attorney's fees, uh, and a lot of other fees involved. So we do it for free. We try to resolve it as quickly as we can do it. So you do it for free, but it costs something to, to do it. So it how do you get your funding? Well, actually, we're funded from multiple sources. We're funded from the trial court. They give us money to do court mediation. Also, an organization a lot of people haven't heard of is the Massachusetts Office of Public Collaboration through a grant that they administer uh, that comes from the state legislature. They provide community programs, funds for community mediation. We also get funding from the Attorney General's Office for consumer-based mediation. Those are disputes between businesses and employees, uh, not employees, uh, customers uh, that are consumer-based. And also we get a small stipend from the Mass Bar Foundation for our conciliation program. Well, that's nice that people are willing to do that. The That's consumer correct. mediation, I think, is especially important. And I know the AG's office does some of that, too. Right. Back in the day in Brockton, we had a Brockton Office of Consumer Affairs, and mm -hmm. we had a full-time director and mm -hmm. a small staff. Mm -hmm. And that 
got chopped because right. of budget cuts. So right, right. you guys are the place to go. Well, what we do is we try to do outreach into various communities and we try to attend various community events so that uh, we can put out information not only about our program but also about consumer related issues on how to buy a car, how to buy a house, how to hire a home contractor, uh, how to um, negotiate with somebody, how to uh, avoid being scammed by a school. Uh, some of the for-profit schools have had a bad reputation over the years. Sure. I don't want to say anything bad about for-profit schools, but uh, we want to make sure that people are aware of what their rights and uh, obligations are when it comes to signing contracts with those types of schools. So we provide that information to them, which is actually provided to us from the Attorney General's office. So. And the Attorney General that we have, Mara Healy, is a real advocate for consumers and advocate for the public in terms of, you know, she does some of her own promotion absolutely and uh, very caring about community members and, right. and that is what you guys are right. too well the attorney general themselves come out into brockton in particular and they do uh outreach into the community with representatives from the attorney general's office that go much more in depth on what people's rights are in terms of the programs and consumer protection so I just got the three minute cue, believe it or not. So I don't want to miss anything that you think is important. So before we do anything else, let's give out the phone number mm -hmm. and, and information on how people can contact sure. you and use the services. Yeah, yeah. Well, people can contact us a number of different ways. We have a website, it's called www.gbcdr.org. And that obviously stands for Greater Brockton Center for Dispute Resolution.org. And our phone number is 508-897-2868. And that number is also on the website. Uh, you can also contact us by mail by writing to us at GBCDR at 215 Main Street, Brockton, 02301. Okay. And we also uh, take meet, uh, emails to okay. mediators, mediators at gbcdr.org. Okay. And we also entertain walk-ins. If you come to my office at 215 Main Street on the second floor, room 207, you can knock on the door and we'll be glad to find out what your dispute is and how we can help you resolve it. And just as a public service announcement, you can't bring your phone. Oh, you be cannot bring your because cell phone you have to into go the court you unless have to, you're an attorney. You have right. to go through security. security. That's so correct. leave it in the car or yes. do it in a lockbox. That's a great I've reminder. I've been over there and even though I'm a member <laughs> of the media, yeah. They want my phone too. So, right. um, so you were talking, depending on volunteers. Mm -hmm. So I think you touched on it, but you have seven active volunteers. I have seven mediators. active volunteers. We've trained a number of people in, over the years in mediation, and a number of them come and volunteer for our program. We only scratched the surface. We could have talked for, I should have had you on in one of my 14 minute <laughs> okay. segments. Right, so we gave all the basic information right. out. Uh, you can be trained to be a mediator. Exactly. There's a 32-hour training. 32-hour training. 32 hour training uh, that generally we run uh, as needed. Uh, this year I hope to have a training class in October. I'm still working out the details of that. Uh, that'll be in the local area, either in Brockton or West Bridgewater. And we'll be sending out announcements regarding that soon. So we'll have you back. We'll talk about that and we'll finish this up. Mm -hmm. And so we can get help for the organization that helps everybody right, else. Right. So thank you so much, Ron. That's I appreciate it. appreciate your time. Very good. All right. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.